is up guys? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. So fresh off of that disappointing loss to the uh, Miami Dolphins, right? We're at 4-1. This week we're traveling to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals, right? So can't, can't sit around feeling sorry for ourselves, just got to go back to work, right? Pack your lunch bucket and let's go. So here we go. Buckle up and get buckle up and get ready. Hopefully we'll uh, rebound, right? All right. Touchdown, Tommy's back. That's going to give us a boost right there and and lift our spirits, right? Browns win the toss. We're going to take it first. Jim Breach gets us underway in Cincinnati. Eric Metcalf back to see the kick. Bernie Kozar leads the offense onto the field. First play out the gate, they give it to Tom, Tommy Vardell. They want to get him back and involved in the hut, offense. Hut, hut. say they do the first three plays Tommy Vardell okay it's a flea flicker Kozar's throwing deep for Michael Jackson oh he overshot him Anybody? Randy Kirk takes him down. Third and long. Kozar barely gets away, but he fights Metcalf. First down. Has the first down a gate of 30 yards. Boy, that was wasn't looking good there, but Kozar pulled pulled something out of the magic hat. Ooh, the Bengals ready for Tommy there, five yard loss. Let's go to the playbook, huh? Yeah, that pitch out there, okay. Fights Metcalf again. First down. Twenty yard gain. Two tackles, he kept fighting, and he gives the Browns the lead. We did 
did get the word this week. It's a coach's decision. Jay Schrader is starting quarterback for the Bengals today uh, due to the struggling season that uh, David Kligler has had so far. The Bengals are trying to give themselves a spark. Schrader completes his first pass. 19 yards on the play. That's the end of the first quarter. Yeah, the Browns, oop, that Browns drive, it, you know, that was a time-consuming drive. That's Cleveland Browns football, baby. Schrader takes off run, and he's got the first down. Should have just downed it in the end zone. He only gets it out to the 10. We're going to. Try these plays here. And then do a switch of Rooney. See if we can get Vardell some more blocking on these plays. Complete to Michael Jackson. He's tackled out the 45. 30 yards on the pass play. One minute 
exactly on the clock. What will the Bengals do? They obviously want to get some kind of points here before the half. Jay Schrader has provided the spark they was seeking, right? Unbelievable! We got ourselves a game here in Cincinnati, Ohio, right? That cap breaks a tackle. Gets it up to the 45. Well, it's just nine seconds on the clock here. Because I was in the shotgun, so it looks like the Browns are going to try to keep it for the Hillberry. He's down deep for Mark Carrier. Oh, incomplete. There's double coverage here. Well, it was. Give him credit for trying, right? Oh, I think we're going to have to head to the concession stand here. Oh, Pac-Man, I'm beat! And I'm hungry! Thank goodness, a new Pac-Man pasta from Chef Boyardee. New Pac-Man pasta? Mmm, little spaghetti shaped like ours. Delicious! And because Chef Boyardee's it's great when we have to eat and run. New Pac-Man pasta from Chef Boyardee with meatballs, without meatballs, or chicken flavor. Thank goodness for new Pac-Man pasta. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Hey, I got me some planters, cashews, cinnamon, cinnamon and brown sugar. It's like, it's like, are you kidding me? I mean, I like cashews anyway, but then you add cinnamon brown sugar, that's almost like not fair. Okay, yeah, look at these stats. Well, you know, I'm, I wish the num the rushing numbers was a little better for Tommy there. All, 10 carries, only 34 yards, though. But a lot of times, you know, you'll have that in the first half. And maybe and things things will open up in the second half more, you know. So we're gonna keep feeding it to him. Alright, let's get it. Bengals do get the second half kickoff. Complete passes brings up third and ten. Oh, all right. Schrader was leveled as he threw the ball right, right before you know, right after he threw it. Another incomplete. All right, defense hold. wisely downed it in the end zone. Okay.
complete to Mark Kerr. Down the sideline to the 32. 38 yards on the pass. Well, sometimes when, when Kozar connects, you know, he... They're doozies, right? They're daggers. Michael Jackson has it. Oh, he's tackled out to three. 30 yards. Oh, he's met at the goal line. They're going to try to pound it in here. He's in there at time. Tommy with the second touchdown of the day. Browns have the lead back again. Some more of these cashews. I think they were good luck. They were pretty, and plus they're tasty. <laughs> Find slim picking. It's intercepted. Everson Walls, nice play, man. He's a nice change up. Okay, that's in the third quarter, guys. Let's go out and do it. Sax Kozar. Oh, big loss on the play. Third and 21. Red 24. Red 24. Hut, hut. Yeah. Blitz. Blitz was on again. Kozar got rid of it, but no dice. So, yeah, we're going to have to punt out and play defense, all right? away a boomer back to the 11 yard line. Bobo! The Browns have it! Collins! <laughs> Are you serious? Sean Collins, our backup receivers on the special team, they made a play for us. Nice! Yeah, once he got that ball, he was, he turned on the Jets and they wasn't getting him. Nobody can catch him. So definitely special teams, right? Special teams is part of the game and games can be won and lost because of the special teams, right? Nine. Blue 
trader under pressure. Gets rid of it to his running back, Fetter. He's got the first down. First down. Brown secondary, tightening things up a little bit, playing good coverage. Another incomplete, yeah, Brown secondary is playing pretty good coverage today. Schrader's not going to have a good completion percentage after this game. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! Michael Dean Perry takes him down. It's a turnover on Downs. Nice! <laughs> Bengals are calling timeout. second half guys you know all tied up at the half but we came out and got another two touchdowns and then we did, but didn't allow them to have any so there you go but yeah we're going to have to try to see what plays work best for Tommy you know sometimes it does happen you know you don't get the yardage you want you would, you would like 42 yards on 18 carries. But a win is a win, guys. So let's finish out the week. And then we'll take a look at the standings. I think the Cardinals won again. Looked like they did there, if I've seen that right. All right, let's take a look at the standings here. AFC East, Miami 5-0, Jets 2-3, Buffalo 1-4, Patriots 1-5, Colts 0-5. And, and the Central, well, the Oilers and Browns are neck and neck there at 5-1. Steelers aren't far behind at 4-2. Bengals and Bengals at 2-4. and four. AFC West, oh, the Chiefs have came to the top there, tied with Denver at 4-2, and two. Chargers 3-3, three three. Seattle 2-4, Raiders 1-5. and five. NFC East, wow, the Dallas Cowboys are 6-0, oh, holy snakies. Cardinals 5-1 though, yeah. Eagles 4-2, Giants 2-4, and, and Redskins 1-5. NFC Central got the Vikings 4-1, Packers 3-2, Lions 3-3, three three, Bears and Bucks 1-4. And 
NFC West. We got the Saints at four and two, Falcons three and three, Niners two and four, and Rams two and four. I'm really, you know, I'm, that's a little eye opening there at this point. You know, the Niners only two and four. But we'll, we'll keep watching, right? We'll keep watching. There you go, week seven's in the books. Our next opponent is the Pittsburgh Steelers coming to Cleveland Brown Stadium. Cleveland Municipal Stadium. That'll be for the next week. For tonight, we're gonna enjoy this win over the Bengals, the season sweep of the Bengals, right? So it's always good when you when you do that. Anyways, yeah, it was a close game at the half, you know, but yeah, things just things just went our way um, in the second half. That's sometimes that happens. It's like it's like a, a tale of two. They call it a tale of two halves, you know. It's like something happens at halftime, and you know things go kind of differently in the second half than they did in the first. So those are my thoughts. Leave me yours in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But that's going to do it for the video. Thanks once again for joining me. I always enjoy hanging out with you guys and then interacting with you in the chat. It's always a good time. But anyways, until next time, guys, have a good one. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap subscribe, then the bell, ding, ding, so you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys, keep it retro. Good Lord Jesus.